Hey, I'm KIC, and man, the ending on that last one was good, good stuff. I mean, as non-Horde episodes go, that ending was pretty fantastic. I mean, I'm not talking about the most exciting thing, not the most amazing thing, whatever, but just a succession of really good, fun little things. I enjoyed that immensely. Here we are, still out in the cold part of the world, and we're going to just do a little inventory management. And now we're going to do something super duper important. We're going to take a moment here to compare. Before we do that, 36, 57, 1400, 29, 54, and 2400. That 29 is going to skyrocket in just a moment because we are going to take these guys out of this one. We are going to modify the crap out of that one. Putting those in there, you are now up to 43 damage with a crap ton of velocity. I am a happy camper. Here, let's switch these around. I want to take... And we'll just make sure we switch that around and then we will do that guy right there. And I suppose now, who wants to be the first victim? I don't know. Maybe we'll just wait and find out who that's going to be. We're a little encumbered right now. I'm a little concerned about that. Oh, you will be the first victim. Congratulations. Sneak attack for three times damage thanks to some handy dandy new perks that we upgraded. We're going to go ahead and just scrap that compound bow. Hold on. Before I do that, you sell for 105. You know what? I might keep that. And uh, maybe we won't do that after all. Let's grab the knife, though, and go uh, skin this, this girl here. Didn't mean to do a power attack. That was the cat jumping up in my lap. That was her fault. She made me right-click. I'm not even joking about that. Welcome, kitty. How are you doing? Let's drop the animal fat. We do not need that. Is there anything else we can get rid of? We can scrap the car filter. I think now, because we spent some points, we can make some more first aid bandages. I was kind of working to that. We'll scrap that arrow. We are now no longer encumbered. We can eat some sham, I guess. There's no real need to do that, though, so we're not going to do that. Let's go ahead and use some more water. I think the game is just going to be broken for a while, and I'm going to be permanently thirsty until the series is done, because I am not planning on dying. Now, that's not to say I won't die. Let's be clear about that. I'm just not planning on dying. Doesn't mean I won't. I just have no plans for death, okay? We're going to head back to the trader. I don't think it'll take too long. We're actually pretty close, and we're more or less full on inventory anyway, so we got to get back to base. I'm going to take a risk here and cut through, although I'm still, crap, a little concerned about certain things like not having the right stuff to make a repair kit for this bicycle, but I don't know. I think it'll be okay. At this point, anyway, I'm really more interested in looking at making a mini bike. Now, that's not to say that the bicycle is bad, and with the mod set I'm running right now that includes one that makes the bicycle move a little faster than default, and when I say a little faster, I mean considerably faster. Not stupidly faster, but considerably faster. I'm not really necessarily feeling the pinch for the, the mini bike, but I'm tired of saying bicycle or... Ah, <laughs> oh, man, I can't even say it right now. Now I say it, right? I was going to say I'm tired of saying mini bike when I mean bicycle. There you go. So it would be nice to be able to say the right thing. Let's go ahead and lock the door. And we're just going to come in here so we can turn it in our quest. What I should be doing, and if you haven't already mentioned this... Why not? And if you have, good for you. I should be doing more stuff where... Ooh. Two herbal antibiotics. Or 39... 9 millimeter. Hmm. That's an interesting question. I think we have some herbal stuff at home. I'm not planning on getting infected. So we'll do that. I don't think your inventory has reset yet, but at this point, I don't remember what you have. And I might be inclined to buy some stuff from you, like that Gravedigger mod sounds kind of cool. Those are all the magazines that we sold you. I don't think I took any perks that would give some additional options in here, so... I'm gonna... Oh, I didn't mean to take the herbal antibiotics, so well, whatever, it's fine. I'm not gonna sweat it. it it's whatever. Well, I have many options here. I was going to say... What I could be doing is I could be going to all the traders that we have on the map, which at this point is, I don't know, three or four of them, I guess, I, I think. 
pretty sure it's more than two. And we could be getting jobs from all of them. Go and just kind of make a circle of them or a big circuit of the jobs. Come back, turn everything in. Boom, good to go. I mean, it's not a bad plan. Really isn't it? That's a pretty decent plan. I, I kind of like the sound of it, but at the same time, I often just enjoy... Hello. You can do it. Ugh. You're thirsty with 82% water. I know. Fine. I'll drink another then. I'm curious if it'll stop harassing me at 100%. I really do think I, I'm just bugged because of how I exited the game prior to 17.1, but whatever. I kind of just want to go wander on my own. I generally prefer doing that. We should make a chemistry station. I think that'd be a good idea. That way we can make some more glue. If we make more glue, then we can indeed. Let's see, what do we have over here? We have one glue and no tape. Just out of curiosity, I'm pretty sure it's not worth it to make it over here, right? I need to... Nope, let's try that again. Two bones, yeah. No, it is one bone and one water. Yeah, it doesn't matter. See, I thought that got changed so that it didn't matter. Uh, you know what? Okay, um... I don't think we have any of the murky stuff, so here, let's grab that. Fine, you know what? Let's let's just do this while we're here. Blue, we can cook up two. Perfect. Yeah, see, I thought it was fine and I didn't need to go to the chem station for it. But I did anyway. Go with your gut. Always go with your gut. Here, let's just kind of put some of this junk away. We're up to 84 concretes. That is not too bad. Concrete mixes. I like getting a little extra metal, too. That's... I find that to be a good thing most of the time. I, I'm kind of blowing through that stuff, so the more we can get of it, the better, usually. Guess we can put the wire tool in there. We already have a wire tool. We'll get rid of that wrench for now. Put that guy in there. We can do some upgrades on our tools. I'm, I'm kind of hesitant to do that. I meant to sell that bow, dang it. I meant to sell the bow! We'll just wait until... Uh, I guess tomorrow? Is that right? We're at day nine? Something like that? It's alright. We don't need to do it right now. Mining helmet, we are absolutely keeping. That can go away. I'm gonna hold on to those for right now. We can put them in the, the bicycle if we really need to. That's a lot of bullet casings. That's not too shabby. And then I think we're pretty much good in here. Let's stop this guy from cooking everything up. We can make some... Let's see, what do we need for that repair kit? I, I already forgot. Oil and duct tape. Okay, so what do we need for a mini bike then? We're going to need a mini bike chassis, of course. Oh, four duct tape, some leather, some electrical parts. The handlebars are going to be more duct tape. We're going to need some wheels. We don't have any wheels, of course. So we're going to need some wheels, which means we need some acid... Which means we need several bottles of acid. Well, I guess we need one, two bottles of acid, whatever. We have stuff we still need to collect. That is the point of all of this. So I suppose what we're going to do is just drop this crap off and let's go a different direction now. We've kind of gone one way. Let's go another and see what we run into. I mean, I just, the way I look at it right now, we've got some time. Not a ton of it, but we've got a little bit of time to run around and just explore and have a couple of days where we don't have to be thinking about the horde. Just try and find whatever we can in terms of equipment, materials, all of that sort of stuff. So we're going to go head down the road this way. We're going to go drive by. Let's see. What am I on right now? I'm on mouse steering. Okay. We're going to ride by the horde defense place thingy, the jigger. I'm still a little concerned. Maybe I, you know what? I'm not going to do this. Not yet. Here. I think it's going to be a while before we can make the mini bike just due to a lack of parts. I mean, if we can find a bunch of duct tape or a bunch of glue, or maybe get lucky and buy a bunch from the trader on reset, because that is also a 17.1 thing, then cool. So I'm going to grab one of those guys. What do we need for the repair kit? I already forgot. So one duct tape, one oil, one cloth fragment, two mechanical parts. So I'm going to grab... One glue. Where are two mechanical parts? They are right there, right under my eyes. Let's make a duct tape out of that. 
And then we will make a repair kit. Nope. Repair has a, has a P before the A, last I knew. Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, this guy. Let's repair you. There we go. 100%. We used our repair kit. We are back in business. I'm going to do my best not to destroy this thing immediately, but no promises. Once again, riding by the Horde defense system. Let's do a little BMX stuff. Maybe, maybe not. Guess not. That's where the cam station is, of course. I'm going to just switch to keyboard driving. That way I can do some free looking. Although maybe that's not a good idea. So this is going to be driving kind of through the town that we've been in. We haven't really explored it, though. So there's still a lot of things that we can check out out here. I did bring the shorts and t-shirts so that we can wander around out here if we need be. I want to say we hit the poopy pants daycare right now because there might be some mod stuff in here. Have we already hit this one? We have not. All right. Let's do this quietly. No one heard us break down the door, which is excellent. Appreciate that. Oh my gosh, it's just going to be an explosion of experience. Holy crap, I... I this bow has so much velocity. Oh no, I'm hitting the desk. I was going to say. It's not because of that. I thought I overshot that guy on my aim. I might have, though. Technically, but... Did that... That, that was... That was short. That was fine. Okay, perfect. This bow does have a lot of velocity, which is excellent for me. Much appreciate that. I'm just coming in here for mods. Really, that's all it is. I mean, we can get some some magazines, too. That's cool. We can turn around and sell them. We can check the sinks for stuff like... That's not really what I'm looking for. I don't even think I want to grab any of the jars. I was really just thinking we can check the sink for something like... You know. You know what I'm looking for. That's right. Wrenchy McDoodles. Looking for a spanner. Go ahead and stand up, sir. How you doing? Oh, I think you're dead. Ooh, I will take some water, though. You know what? I'll take that, too. Let's see. Let's. What do we got going on here, sir? One in the dome. Two in the dome. I don't know if that's Wandering Horde or what. Body shot to finish you off. I don't think that's any different. I am looking forward to the point when I can get one-shot headshots on these guys without relying on the exploding head perk. Or the exploding head part of the perk. Of course, some of that's going to rely on me actually shooting him in the head. Minor details. Seriously, all I'm looking for in here is I just want some... some mods. I didn't think there was anything behind those, but... You know, can't hurt to try. So we'll just check in here what do we got going on. I do really want to get some some new stuff though, some new some new tools in place. I think that would be a good thing. Wrenchy McDoodle, that's one of the things I was looking for. Intrinsic immunity. Alright. Intrinsic immunity would probably be a good one to use on a horde night. Or if you're going into a particularly nasty POI, but I think we're gonna be hitting ones that I'm more or less familiar with, at least. We are right now, so this is not... Oh, that is amazing right there. That is amazing! I'll take that. I will take that, and I will also check this guy. Master Chef. Yes, Mr. Ramsey. I think we're good in here. I'm just going to check you. I figure if I'm going to hit all of them, then I really should hit all of them. It's a little disappointing that not all of those shelves are stocked, but that's the way it goes now. Did I hear a dog? I don't think so. I think it was just Zom Zoms. This looks like a pretty big POI. This is a dungeon one, I can tell by the torch on it. Well, I was just talking about using intrinsic immunity when you're going into places that maybe you're not as familiar with. So you know what? Let's not use it. This to me looks like this is probably the way in. Just go ahead and take that guy down there, put you in place. And we will just shovel our way to some free concrete mix. That is such a great thing. Hi, how you doing? You need to stop whatever it is you're doing. 
What was I just saying about not using intrinsic immunity? I bet she came from up there. That's what it was. I am just, for whatever reason, I cannot keep it straight in my head, in my head, that they like to come out that way now. I don't know why I can't keep that straight, but I sure cannot. Let's go across over here. I believe this is the way to go across due to the little light thingy majigger right there. The torch. Hi, how you doing? Don't hit me. You're going to be knocked down. I know that. Oh, crap. Okay. Let's see what you dropped for us. Stay down. And stay down. Oh, crap. Okay. And speaking of stay down. And stay down. Don't get up. No, I mean it. Stay down. You too. You guys, you all need to stay down. Oh, that one is staying down. Crap. You should stay down with one more. And make sure I shoot you in the head so that you stay down as well. Stay down. Is that the one that's for clubbing? I don't remember which one that is. Strength requirement. So yeah, I think that's what that one is. Knocks him down a little longer or something like that. Am I, am I thinking of the right one? Stay down. Stunned enemies. Knock them back. Knock foes back down. Yeah, okay. That sort of thing. I guess it's more or less what I was thinking of. Maybe not exactly, but close enough. Let's just shovel away with this stuff. Man, this is such a good little thing here. I mean, this is a great way to get just a little burst of concrete mix. And it and it's in a way that, that is fun. I like that. Like I said, I, I would kind of prefer it to be cement and not concrete. But I'm not going to argue with it. I think we're going through this. Hello, holy crap, where did you guys come from? I think you all just came from up high or something. Holy crap. I might need a better weapon. This is going to be insufficient. Holy crap, a doodle. This is not good. Game is running like hot garbage. Oh, I think I know which building this is now. That's not what I was expecting to see. Holy crap. Was that that guy? I didn't realize there was a mine right there. That was news to me. Holy crap, there's another mine there. Again, news to me. Thank you for holding on to that arrow. Appreciate it. I'm trying to get that backpack. Do you see that, that backpack in there? There it is. Oh, look at that. We got an upgraded club just like that. I'm a little concerned with getting too close over there. I think I'd rather let the zombies work on stuff. There we go. Now that I can see. I don't see, like, any candy tin mines or anything like that. Yeah, I didn't realize which building this was, but now that I see I'm like, oh yeah, I know which one this is. We're good. Let's rebuild the staircase just a little bit, because we might need to get the crap out of here. And then... I want to... Maybe slaughter a zombie. There we go. Level 36. Got six skill points to spend. It's because we keep getting levels and not spending them. I think that guy did take one headshot and he was done. Without an exploding head. Holy crap, that's what I'm talking about. That's the good stuff right there, madam. You as well. Don't think that I've forgotten about you. Oh boy. All right. I mean, excellent. Archery. This doesn't even... Hmm. I'm really super tempted to go there. I wonder if I could do a game without guns for the most part. Like, or a game without guns ever. Might be kind of fun. I don't know. Whatever. Let's keep going. Now, technically, I think I'm still supposed to keep doing stuff over here-ish. So we'll just kind of keep... Oh. Yeah, that's a good... That's a good change right there. I like that. I don't think we want anything out of this guy. I think we were trying to check out what was... Like, all in this area. And there's... There were just so many zombies that were like... But we want to say hi. We want to, to meet you. We want to invite you into our... Humble zombie abode. 
which is a pretty nice house. I got to say, it's not terribly humble. I mean, not in the traditional sense that one would think it would be. That's a shame. That's not interactable. I think I thought that was supposed to be fixed. All right, that's fine. Can we do this with it, though? Nope. Got it. Okay, then. Live and learn. Do we have any mods on this guy? Mods, empty modifier. Okay, so this one we can go... Really? Wait a minute. Really? How is it? I don't understand that, then. There are no mods on that. 21, 42, and 7... Okay. Um I are you are you sure? 21 42 and 7. 21 42 and 7. The only difference here is durability. Interesting. Okay. Well, I mean more durability is more durability granted it's going to need to be repaired sooner, but overall it'll end up having more durability. That's fine. <laughs> take some water. It's pretty quiet in here now. This is this is pleasant. I could do this. Cardboard box. We'll do that. Some money. Money, money, money. I guess we'll go ahead and grab the pick and just open up the safe, huh? Alright. I'll take that. I hear a zombie. I didn't hear that until right about when I was finished hammering on that thing, so I suspect we're going to get a zombie coming in pretty soon here. I bet a bunch of the other zombies that they were up there, too. Which begs the question of, how did the zombies get up there? And perhaps more importantly, why? Hold on, I want to look one more time. So this is that one we're looking there. Okay. This would be kind of a weird room. I mean, kind of cool, but um, not super private. It's all right, though. Let's go downstairs. All right, madam. You are done. Stay down if you don't mind. What we got going on over here? Looks like it's empty. It looks like it's empty, but there's an ammo pile of 10 arrows. Look at that. I don't really need to jump for the trash. Didn't even see which magazine it is. I'm probably not going to care. I'll, I'll take a look in just a moment, though. Can I just tag your head? Nope. I just cannot tag your head. That's right. You're going to go down in just a second. And then you're going to stay down in a minute. Thank you. Oh, hey, what are you doing in there? You barely fit. You don't fit through the door frame. That probably didn't feel good. Any of that. Gonna leave down casings. I'm not a big... Not feeling a big need for them right now. Let's go check out this side of the house, maybe. No, nope, we gotta wind our way around. Okay. Well, there is this one over here. That's what it is. There's a zombie stuck over there. That is the door to the outside world. See that? She was kind of... She was like, Give me an A! Yeah. She kind of got stuck when she was trying to... get everyone to give her an A. Hmm. Unfortunate, but it does happen. It's barbed wire for you. Madam. I kind of want to put one more into headshot, because that'll start making all this stuff one shot. Although, I suspect that a slightly better bow or another mod or two might be enough, too, to make it so that it's really happening. This, to me, looks funky, right? Like there was something here. All right, um, you didn't hear any of that, even though I was not stealthed. You didn't hear any of that either. Don't lie. 
She's all trying to make up for it. I heard it. Hi, ma'am. The zombies dropping from ceilings thing is just obnoxious, all right? It's just obnoxious. That's such a shame that I can't do anything with that, but that's all right. I'll just smash this guy. How you doing? Sorry, sir. Uh, all right, whatever. I mean, we don't really need any food right now, but we can probably chomp on that. We're about at the point where that would be all right. Cupboard, how you doing? Do we have any empties right now? I think I've tried not to grab any. Ah, uh, dang it, I was going to see what that last magazine was that we picked up. Boom, headshot, intrinsic immunity, master chef, parkour, cardio, slow metabolism. And stay down. Did I mention, I think I mentioned the other day that I took out the mod. Maybe I didn't take it out. No, I didn't. I take that back. Uh, one of the changes in 17.1 is magazines are supposed to stack now. I don't know how high. I was going to take the mod out that I'm using that enables stacking for those, but then I thought, well, I want to keep stacking for for mods as well as magazines, so I didn't end up taking it out, but I didn't remember reading anything that said that mod schematics can be stacked, but maybe they can and there's no need. I think we're done in here. That's pretty good. I like these buildings. These are these are a lot of fun. I get a lot of enjoyment out of running around in these. I'll just go ahead and leave out Dees away. And I guess we'll stop and check for some feathers and stuff. The bike should be around here somewhere. Assuming some zombie or whatever has not stolen it. Right, kitty? You never know. These neighborhoods look nice. The next thing you know, there's a zombie riding your bike all the way out of town. Some days, it's just the way it goes, and uh, there's really not much you can do about it except to stop, check the bag on the way, and next time, put an arrow in the zombie's head. So that's going to have to do it for this time. I'll catch you in the next one when we do more things that probably involve zombie death and explosion and all that sort of stuff. Maybe minus the explosion, I'm not really sure, unless it's a head. Whatever. Catch you in the next one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.